good viewers know the five judges that are going to determine the destiny of nigeria tomorrow and also the destiny of the presidential candidates but before we go into their profiles the court of appeal abuja has directed its members of staff to stay at home on wednesday that is tomorrow which is the day scheduled for the judgment in the respective petitions challenging the election of bonda tinumbu this was disclosed by the chief registrar court of appeal abuja obtained by our news correspondence. The staff members were told that only those with tags will be allowed entry into the court premises. The memo reads, I have been directed to inform all members of staff of the headquarters and Abuja division to stay at home on Wednesday, 6 September 2023. This is to create a conducive and peaceful atmosphere for special sitting for the presidential election tribunal petition at Abuja division of the court. In view of the above, very strong security apparatus have been arranged to man the entrance of the court and also in all strategic areas of the court complex. In addition, only staff with tax provided by the management will be allowed into the court premises. Please be informed as instructed. Now, let us go into the details of the five judges that they are going to determine the destinies of Bondatinum Buatiku Abubaka, the APM presidential candidate, and also Mr. Peter Obi of the Nebo Party. As Nigerians await for the judgment seeking to disqualify Tinumbu as the president of Nigeria, it is very important for you to know the five judges that the destiny of Nigeria is lying in their hands now. These five judges will determine the outcome of this petition. These five judges could disqualify Tinumbu. These five judges could uphold the election on the favor of Tinumbu. These five judges could declare Pitobi as the winner of the election. Also, these five judges could also declare Atiku winner. It depends on what they arrive at. However, the five-man panel of judges headed by the presiding justice of PEPC, Justice Haruna Samani, gave the assurance that justice will be served. Justice Samani said, We were determined to look at the matter dispassionately and give justice to whoever deserves justice. He noted that the tribunal will consider the substance of each case over technicalities so that whoever lives here will be satisfied that justice has been done. Consider watching this video to the end as we display the profile of the judges. It is no doubt that the 2023 presidential election and the consequent election petitions that ensued are the most followed political events in Nigeria's history. With bated breath, Nigerians anxiously await the judgment in the petitions filed by the APM Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party PDP asking the court to void Tinubu's victory. While many wonder what the court's decision will pretend for Nigeria's democracy, profiles the five judges of the presidential election petition court as they prepare to deliver their verdict on the most reportedly flawed election ever conducted in Nigeria's history. Haruna Samani, a renowned Nigerian judge, has made significant contributions to the Nigerian judicial system. Born 1959 in Gombe State, Nigeria, Justice Haruna hails from Tafawabaliwa local government area of Bochi State. He holds a Bachelor of Laws degree from Bayeru University in Kanu and a Master of Law from Ahmadubelu University in Zaria. Justice Samani is a strong advocate for the rule of law and the independence of the judiciary. On July 4, 2020, Justice Samani in Abuja delivered one of the judgments of the Court of Appeal that affirmed the second-term election of Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State. In October 2021, he led the three-member panel of the court that dismissed the suit by the suspended National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party PDP, Uche Sekundus to allow the party to hold a hitch free national convention. He also led the panel of the court that gave the October 2022 judgment, suspending the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kanu, from custody 
after the charges against the secessionists were dismissed in an earlier judgment of the court. Justice Stephen Adair was born on June 13, 1957 in Dekina local government area of Kogi State. He is the presiding justice of the Asaba Division of the Court of Appeal. He is the second most senior judge on the Presidential Election Petition Court panel. He is currently the presiding justice of the Court Division in Asaba, Delta State. Justice Ada has a robust record of high-profile cases with diverse subject matters. His decisions have triggered applause and dissensions. In May 2012, Mr. Ada nullified a provision in the Police Act prohibiting a female police officer from marrying a man of her choice without the permission of the Commissioner of Police in the command where she is serving. Mr. Ada held in the judgment that the provision contained in Regulation 124 of the Police Act was unconstitutional. He also gave the June 25, 2012 ruling that thwarted the plan of then-President Goodluck Jonathan's administration to rename the University of Lagos to Mashud Abiola University, Lagos. In May 2019, Mr. Ada delivered a belated judgment that could have saved the former Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Walter Onore, who was controversially tried at the Code of Conduct Tribunal, CCT, and removed from office. Justice Mistura Bolaji Yusuf Ms. Bolaji Yusuf, the only female presidential election petition court panel member, is an indigene of Oyo West local government area of Oyo State. 63 years old, Ms. Bolaji Yusuf is a law graduate from Obafemi Awolowo University. On January 12, 2006, as a judge of the High Court of Oyo State, Ms. Bolaji Yusuf issued an order that invalidated the steps taken by then acting Chief Judge of the State, Afolapi Adeniro, which led to the illegal removal of the then Governor, Rashidi Ladoja. Although the acting Chief Judge withdrew the case from her, her ruling was the first significant blow to the entire impeachment process, which the Supreme Court would also later nullify. The Supreme Court declared the process null and void and reinstated Mr. Ladoja in its judgment delivered on November 11, 2006. Justice Bolok Romo Ugo hails from Kolokuma, Opokuma local government area of Bayas State. At 57, he is the youngest among the judges on the Presidential Election Petition Court panel. Before his elevation to the Court of Appeal, he served as a Bayas State High Court judge for eight years, dating back to his appointment on March 21, 2014. Justice Ugo currently serves at the Kanu Division of the Court of Appeal. Justice Abba Muhammad hails from Kanu State, Northwest Nigeria. He was called to the Nigerian Bar in 1984 and currently occupies the 71st position on the list of judges of the Court of Appeal ranking higher than only five others with whom he was elevated to the bench in 2021. After serving for about 10 years, Justice Muhammad was promoted to the Court of Appeal on June 28, 2021. He is on record as having presided as chairman of the Nasarawa State Governorship Election Tribunal in 2019. Till date, no significant case is credited to him. However, his participation in Presidential Election Petition Court will be a defining landmark in his profile. <music>